Hi guys, a simple question. Why do people do this? I don't understand why people do it. Now I'll get to the video in just a moment, but this is the weather forecast for London on the 6th of May, Saturday, the day of the coronation. 15 degrees, as you can see here, precipitation 90%, humidity 83% and wind 16 kilometers per hour. Okay, why do people do this? This is the weather forecast for the 6th of May, the Saturday. This is the weather the day before. Okay, once again, why do people do this? Now, you could try make a comparison here with, you know, well, people would like to meet with a celebrity. They they queue out to meet with, a, you know, in a, for a concert or something like that. But that's something that lasts for a few hours. As you saw in the report here, people have been waiting for the king and the queen to arrive for days. I feel sorry for these people because they're going to get soaked some of them may catch a cold or something <laughs> and not feel very well because they've been sitting in the rain for two days what do they get out of this and i have to ask the question do any of these people believe that king charles or queen camilla would actually do the same for them why are you putting yourself through this when you know that they wouldn't do it for you you know I wouldn't wait around for a celebrity you know, for days. If I wanted to meet with somebody, <laughs> maybe a couple of hours. If it was in the rain like this, I'd say, to hell with this, I'm going home. I don't want to catch, <laughs> I don't want to catch something. I really don't understand this behavior. Uh, sitting on a chair for days, waiting for the king to pass, who you may not even be able to see through the carriage. Maybe he's looking out the other side. <laughs> Um, maybe Queen Camilla you, you didn't want to see. You wanted to see the king and you picked the wrong side of the street to be on. It makes no sense to me. Does it make any sense to anyone in the comment section? Please let me know.